Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have been receiving a lots of requests for this video that I'm going to cover today. It's regarding the Nova Scotia PNP programs. So this program is very popular these days because of its low requirements. And recently I was going through this uh, discussion forum on a very popular website. So there was a user named Sarah who, who claims that she got the invitation with CRS score as low as 250. So guys, I don't know if that news is true or not, but if it is as low as 250, this is a great opportunity for you guys to apply for this program as well. And this program is handing out nominations despite the COVID-19 pandemic because the last row that was out was on March 22nd, 2020. So guys, check out this video, follow the steps. And if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment box below. And please guys, if you want to get updated regarding latest information on Canada immigration and lifestyle, do consider subscribing to my channel. And please like the video if you are liking my content so far. Hello friends, in this video, I'll be talking about Nova Scotia Provincial Nominee Program to immigrate to Canada in the year 2020. This is one of the most popular PNP programs going around at this time as it is aligned with Express Entry System. Like always, I'll start with the overview of the program followed by the eligibility criteria to apply and in the end, step-by-step -step process on how to apply into this program and successfully immigrate to Canada. Let's start with the overview. For those who don't know, Nova Scotia is a province in Eastern Canada which is becoming popular by the day for immigrants to move and settle in Canada. Let's talk about the reasons on why you should be moving to Nova Scotia. First one is, it is known for its natural beauty of the rolling sea and it has more than 7400 kilometers of coastline. Second one is, Nova Scotia's slow pace of living means Families are able to spend more time and participate in many fun activities offered throughout the province. So if you are a person who doesn't like fast-paced life of big cities, Nova Scotia is a place for you to move in and settle. Next is affordable living. In 2011, average value of a home in Nova Scotia was 201,991 compared to 345,182 for all of Canada. And this trend has continued till 2020. Now let's talk about the PNP program offered by Nova Scotia. Prospective candidates who have the skills and experience targeted by Nova Scotia will get an invitation to apply for PNP. This program is further divided into different categories listed here, but in this video I'll be talking about labor market priority stream because of its low requirements and it doesn't require a job offer. Labor Market Priority Stream selects candidates in the Federal Express Entry System to meet provincial labor market needs to apply for nomination. And what are these needs specifically, I will discuss that in detail later in the video. Only candidates who receive a letter of interest from Nova Scotia Office of Immigration can apply for it. Now let's discuss the eligibility criteria for applying into this program. First and foremost requirement is that you should have a legal status in the country of residence. That means you should have a valid passport of the country you are living in. You should either be a citizen, PR or should have a work permit if you are in Canada right now and applying from here. Second requirement is that you should have a valid express entry profile and meet all IRCC criteria for the express entry pool. For checking the criteria, you can go to canada.gc.ca and depending on the category you are applying for, you can check the requirements as below. Let's say you want to check it for Federal Skilled Worker Program. In this category, your application will be assessed based on your age, education, work experience, language skills, etc. Similarly, you can check for other categories as well. Next comes the minimum work experience requirements of the Express Entry System. As you can see here, for Canadian Experience class, you need one year of work experience in Canada in the last three years. And for the Federal Skilled Worker Program, you need one year of continuous work experience in the last 10 years. Next requirement is you should show sufficient funds in order to successfully establish yourself and your family in Nova Scotia and to pay your immigration costs and travel expenses. This again will depend on express entry category you are applying under. For Federal Skilled Worker Program and Federal Skilled Trades Program, you will need to show 12,960 for one family member, 16,135 for two family members and so on and so forth. 
you will not need proof of funds if you are applying under Canadian Experience Class category or if you have a valid job offer from Canada and you are applying under any of the three programs. Next requirement is an important one that is you should receive a letter of interest from the Nova Scotia province within the Express Entry system. So for this, when you are creating your Express Entry profile, you will come across this page which is provinces and territories of interest you would consider living in. In this all you have to do is check the box next to Nova Scotia and the one next to all provinces and territories. This is important otherwise you will not get the letter of interest from Nova Scotia. Next requirement on the list is draw specific requirements. Let me explain what this is. Now on top of the requirements that I have mentioned to you guys a while ago, you also must satisfy the draw specific requirements. However, guys the catch is you won't find out about these requirements until the draw is actually out and you got your letter of interest. So as you see here the last draw was on May 22, 2020 and the requirements were as follows. You must be under NOC code 3012 which is registered nurses. You must have 3 or more years of experience. You must have a CLB level of 8 and you must hold a bachelor's degree. And the previous draw before this one was on April 27, 2020 and the draw specific requirements are the following. And the last requirement is that you need to submit your PNP application within 60 days of receiving the letter of interest from Nova Scotia. Now let's go through the step by step process on how to apply for the application. First step is that you need to create an Express Entry profile as this program is aligned with Express Entry system as explained earlier. And again guys don't forget to select Nova Scotia and all provinces and territories option on provinces and territories of interest page. Second step is wait for the next draw to see if you satisfy the draw specific requirements. And again to check this out you can go to official website of Nova Scotia labor market priority stream. I will provide the link in the description box below. After you receive a letter of interest from Nova Scotia through your IRCC online account you have 60 calendar days to apply for Nova Scotia PNP under the labor market priority stream. In order to apply, you must submit your application through Nova Scotia's online service at www.novascotia.ensnp and ensure that you include all your required documents. So you just need to go on this link to apply for the application which is given in the description box below and follow the step by step process to create an account and fill out application and so on and so forth. Average time to complete an online application is around 60 minutes. Next step is once you get the nomination from Nova Scotia, you will have 30 days to accept it in the IRCC Express Entry system. After that you will get 600 additional CRS points and you will get an invitation to apply in the next Express Entry draw. And finally, apply for the permanent residence within 60 days of getting the ITA or IRCC. So for that, you can go on this link to apply for permanent residence under Express Entry once you have received an invitation to apply. Sign into your account and follow the steps. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you understood all the requirements and steps to apply for this program. If you have doubts in any of these steps, do let me know in the comment box below. And guys, please do subscribe to my channel for future videos like these. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the like button. And until we meet next time, bye bye.